I lie in the bed at night and I hear myself wrinkling. <laughs> what is it? You can hear it so well because it's happening right there at your ears. <laughs> And sometimes my husband will sit up in the bed and he will say, the house is settling. <laughs> or is that you? What's going on? And I'm to the point where it's almost like, if it doesn't hurt, it may not be mine. <laughs> and not long ago, I was seated on an airplane and I looked down in a mirror and I thought one of those Sharpay dogs had crept up over my shoulder and was looking. <laughs> I scared my own self. <laughs> when I got home, I went to my friend Norma. Well, we're from the South, and y'all know her name's not Norma. Her name is Norma Rose. <laughs> and I said, Norma Rose, I looked down in the mirror on the airplane, and I scared myself. I don't think I'm looking as good as I used to. Norma Rose is a teacher. She cut straight to it. She said, there are two things here. Let's go on to number two. She said, you need more sleep. Jeannie, you look better when you get more sleep. Some days you ought not to even get up. <laughs> Just stay in the bed and let your head hang off. <laughs> and she said, gravity will work for you if you let it. <laughs> and she said, mentioning gravity takes me back to the all important number one. You don't ever look down in a mirror. She said, I've seen it start rolling on people and pull them out of a chair and throw them onto the floor. <laughs> and soon after that, you know what I'm talking about, don't you? I've really hit a nerve on this. Is that it? That's it. Soon after that, I picked up a phone book and I looked down in it and I said, now, where is our federal government when we need them on something important? They've used these trees and printed this book, which is fine with me because we have to have the book. But then they wasted the pages because they did not put any phone numbers in the book. They just blurred black ink <laughs> on every page. And Norma Rose said, put it on the floor. <laughs> and back up from it. I do this in the classroom, she said. Turn the pages with your toe. That's going to make them long distance numbers. <laughs> and I said, no, I think the time has come for me to have some of those head jerk glasses. Y'all know what I'm talking about. I see them on airplanes. I fly 23 days of the month and I see them every single morning. People get on that airplane, and they put on their little head jerk glasses and they whip out that newspaper and slap it open and those glasses start jerking their head. <laughs> Sometime if they're in unison, the whole plane will go back and forth. <laughs> I'm not sure, but bifocals may cause turbulence. <laughs> so when I got home, I went to the eye doctor and I said, I want some of those glasses that I've always made fun of. They have a little line in them. And she examined me and she said, Jeannie, you don't need bifocals. All you need is one reading contact. Just one. And I said, well, she said, just put it right here. It's all you need. I said, but I never have worn contacts. And I always thought if I did, I would wear blue. <laughs> and there's just something a little funny about that one blue eye. It gives new meaning to that old song, Six Foot Two, Eye of Blue. Very strange. <laughs> and soon after that, I went to the dentist. And he said, you're grinding your teeth. I said, this is a relief. I thought I was wrinkling. 